You're watching the Oak Mountain ACOTS on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back. Today, we're going to head back into the woods in this fresh snow that we got here over the last two days. Now, we've got four to five inches of snow depending on where you measure. And uh, I received a few comments lately where viewers are asking me how this unit performs in fresh snow. And the answer is, I guess I don't really know. I've always put a hard pack trail in snow uh, for the tractor to run on since we bought it. But uh, we're going to do a video today just to see how it's going to handle this loose snow. Let's get at it. Okay guys, so just as I suspected, um, we weren't able to get up over this first hill that we have on our woods road. It's a, it's a challenging hill and if you can make it over this hill, you know you're going to be able to go just about anywhere on the wood lot. Um, but we didn't. We started to slip out. There's probably a little bit of ice under here. Um, not uh, perfect footing by any means. And I know we measured four inches of snow, but it looks more like six inches of snow to me. So. What we're going to do next is we're going to throw the Craneman hydraulic timber trailer drives in gear. And this tractor also has differential lock. So if I have to, I'll hold down on the differential lock and I think in low gear we're going to be able to climb right up over this hill. Let's see how we do. Okay guys, so now we're on a long gradual hill uh, on the woods road and I'm using my trailer drive right now to get up over this hill and when I use my trailer drive I have to run the tractor in low gear and match the speed of the tractor to the trailer with a hydrostatic transmission. What I'd like to do is disengage that trailer drive, I'd like to get the tractor up into my medium range and actually make some progress because it's very slow in that low gear but every time I do, I slip out. Show you what we mean.
that heavy snow pulled a bunch of brush down on the trail, so we're going to have to take a little bit of time and move them when we can so we don't damage our equipment. Okay guys, we made it. We're two kilometers back in the woods. Um, I didn't anticipate that there would be so many trees pulled down because of the heavy snow. Um, you probably saw me using my front bucket a little bit just to knock those trees and get them up out of the way. Um, I know that that makes the machine more tippy. I was trying to do that in low range and I was just trying to touch those as I went through um, just to make sure that I was uh, being safe with the machine. But we did make it. Um, this is the exact same place that we came the other night for night logging to pick up a load. I had come in again in the storm yesterday, put some more hardwood down, and we're going to pick it up and take it out to the house.
Okay guys, so uh, about a half a load of wood there on the trailer. Um, I've got to get the saw and knock off two or three limbs, no sense dragging those out to the house with us. And then, actually there's so much weight on this trailer now, with the consistency of that snow, it's turned into ice just as soon as we move on it. It's making things a little more slippery. So to be safe, I'm going to get Karen to go ahead of me with the side by side this time. And if I can't seem to get up over a hill, we're going to hook a chain and, and give it a little pull with the uh, X1100C RTV on tracks. Okay, let's make our way back out to the house. I've got uh, another bunch of hardwood on the trail out there that I'll stop and pick up to try and make this into a full load on the way back out. Let's go. Okay guys, we made it back to the main uh, woods road. We had to actually pull that machine um, probably half of the distance of that side trail to get it up through here. Um, kind of a balancing act between uh, how fast the side-by-side -side should go and how fast the tractor should go. Really in the side-by-side, -side, you gotta kind of go by feel, make sure there's tension on the chain, but make sure that those tracks aren't hopping because you don't wanna do any damage to it, right? So it's really a balancing act when you're doing something like that, especially over long distances. Anyway, we did pretty good. We didn't damage anything. We're back up on the main woods road now, and it's all downhill from here, literally. So uh, we're gonna get this out and get it on the pile. Karen is super excited because that was the first time she said she's ever pulled anything with any type of equipment before. 
Um, so be sure to leave her a comment down below and let her know how she did. She's looking forward to that. Okay guys, so there you have it. Um, we successfully made it back and brought out a load of wood. I wouldn't say that I would want to venture out without having an RTV or something in front of me to give me a pull. Now maybe if we had uh, ice chains for the tires on the tractor that would help, but uh, with the snow conditions today, it's, uh, it's snowball fight conditions. Perfect packy snow, put a little weight on that snow and it turns to ice. So uh, probably not the best conditions to head out in, but that will give you a flavor for uh, what this machine will do in fresh snow. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, we'll see you in the next one.